Hi, I'm Nancy Bruce, the one who gets to put together the wildflower exhibit for the Psycon barbecue every year. You know, the flowers always delight. They never disappoint. I hope you enjoy this video of the early spring flowers at Psycon. The red marks on Fiddleneck show pollinators where to get the nectar. Prickly Cucumber has an amazing scent and an enormous root tuber. Black bears, coyotes, and foxes readily eat manzanita berries. Popcorn is a relative of the forget-me-not. We know it's truly spring when the baby blue eyes begin blooming. We sometimes see gooseberries blooming as early as December. Oak gooseberry is a favorite hideout of the California quail. You'll find California saxifrage in shady, moist drainages. Shooting stars are buzz pollinated by bumblebees. Flowers pointing down are waiting to be pollinated. Those pointed up are already making seeds. The common buckeye butterfly lays its eggs and the caterpillars eat the California plantain. Look closely at the shape of the leaves and the flowers to tell these three lookalikes apart. Miner's lettuce leaves, flowers, and black shiny seeds are edible, as are red maids. This tiny mustard is endemic. That means it's limited to California. Eastwood's Nemophila is named for pioneering botanist, explorer, and naturalist Alice Eastwood. Bright yellow petals are very effective in attracting insects. The name lupin comes from the Latin word lupus, meaning wolf. These flowers are in the legume family with peas and beans, and they enrich the soil with nitrogen. Most legumes harbor nitrogen-fixing bacteria in their roots. The plant provides oxygen and sugars to the bacteria in exchange for much-needed nitrogen that fertilizes the plant. This relationship benefits both. It is called mutual symbiosis. The intricate details of the seed pods make this early blooming mustard a delight to observe. Found in shaded gullies, look for a tiny golden brown moth visiting this flower. Yokuts harvest the edible underground part of this plant called a corm and then scatter its seeds or tiny cornlets to increase plant populations. Giraffe head, like all members of the mint family, has a square stem and opposite leaves. And pineapple weed, if you gently squeeze the flower head, you get a pineapple-y smell. Native Californians use the bark of redbud for a deep red color in their basketry. The heavenly scent of bush lupin attracts butterflies and bumblebees. The upper petals, called the banner, turn hot pink after they have been pollinated. Widespread at Psycon, but easily missed until we learn to see this sweet relative of owl's clover. Look for white-topped clover in wet, grassy areas, and then look at it for a while and let it melt your heart. This delicate beauty is the favorite of Ruth Anderson, a former Psycon nurse who started the wildflower display. Butter and eggs, or Johnny Tuck, grows in Sycon's back 40 meadow in gravelly soils. Chickweed is a non-native plant that thrives in moist, shady places. Hot and sunny granite cliffs are home for bush monkey flower, a magnet for hummingbirds and butterflies. Small flowered fiddleneck has, well, small flowers, but larger leaves than the other fiddleneck that we see at Psycon. Our last flower in this early spring series is Waterfall Buttercup, found growing only in the spray of Dead Man's Falls, 